Hello everybody, XD Gamer here. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we made our way um out of the underwear after um reuniting Queen Jadies with Love Bee. And not only that, but we also got ourselves a handy dandy new friend who's gonna help us to the next heart pillar, known as Luigi. Actually. Oh, he can just jump over. Wait, if he can just jump over. And let me check something. No, because it stops your momentum. Okay, I was wondering, like, maybe I could get over with Mario hack to system. Granted, this heart pillar wouldn't be ready yet. So even if I did manage to, like, get past there or something with glitches, wouldn't matter, but... Um, we also, uh, that's really it. We got this pure heart restored in the underwear, thanks to Queen Jadies, and found out our games truly weren't over, and we were simply sent there. Anyways, this time, we already opened the heart pillar, because I decided to get over here, quick as I could, just to not waste time. <laughs> what did I just, oh, I skipped that dialogue. Lumiere? Wait, hold on, who in the world is that? I- what am I saying? Doobie doobie doobie. Oh, I can't jump up. So... Hmm. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the return pipe or not. Okay, that might be quicker than the elevator if you jump off that side. But I want to see what Flim has. And also check on Captain Gills, because I believe we didn't after the last chapter or two. So here he is. He is rather large. There are some bones down here. So that's interesting. I'm just going to stay away from you. Hello. Name Flim, freelance sales feat, owner and proprietor of this shirt. I do not think that was his voice. I'm just singing the Kirby's uh, epic yarn song now. Anyways, I do not think I need too much preparing. We're pretty close to leveling up. Let's go. Dementio's savage attack had separated Mario from his friends. He reunited with Luigi, yes, but Peach and Bowser were still missing. Just where were those two, and what new dangers lay ahead? It's time to venture through the door opened by the seventh pure heart. 
Once again, Mario saw a nightmarish landscape beyond imagination. Chapter 7-1 Subterranean Vacation So we're back here. Here's your intro if you wanted to see it. However, now we have pixels. It's so dark here. I wonder what sort of world this is. Mario, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, so then this would be the underwear. So this would be the underwear place you mentioned earlier. Huh, then I wonder why the pure heart led us here. Maybe because it's where the next pure heart is. Just the hunt. You've been here before, ah, <laughs> good one. Glad of the queen knowing you were great you ever started your game. Ah, uh, he says the same thing. Got this fountain's healing. So I fell out of this pipe. Luckily I landed in the sea, so I was totally okay. All right, so let me guess, you're gonna tell me you sank like a stone, right? What are you talking about? I'm an incredible swimmer. I swim like a cheap cheap. That was what did me in. I looked just like a... I looked just like a fish and bam! Boss bass snack. Now, one of the... Now, I understand this is just sort of theory-based and stuff, but... One of the things I really think is disturbing is that none of the Samur guys are here. It shows that they didn't just die. Their games weren't just ended, but they're practically erased from existence. Just like Count Black said, the world was gone. And it's not like normal death. Those Samur guys, all of them, they're just gone. Like, they aren't even here. And this is where you'd expect them to be. But, they're gone for good. Anyways, we want to make our way back to Queen Jadies. Wonder what she's going to think. Luigi with them high jumps. Greetings, welcome to the... Wait, why have you returned? You're Queen Jadies. My name is Tippy. I'm a friend of Mario's. We, we've come to find the pure heart that's hidden in this world. What? You are collecting pure hearts? Now that I take a long look at you, I realize you just might be the heroes mentioned in the prognosticus. But could you really be the ones? So, does that mean you have a pure heart for us, Queen Jadies? The location of the pure heart is a matter of utmost secrecy, I'm afraid. There is nothing I can tell you. If you really must know, you will have to speak to Granby, king of the over there. Mother! I don't know why he made her sound like that. My things are packed and checked thrice. I am ready to return to the over there. Oh me, thou returnest? Did that game truly end this time? An idea strike. Could you find heroes take Lovely back to the over there for me? Take her back? Why ever would you need us to do a thing like that? A monster was once held beneath here, but a recent earthquake freed it. Once it escaped its prison, it began to wander this realm freely. Of course, I can never send my daughter alone with such a savage beast on the loose. If you would take her back, I would gladly open the way to the over there for you. I will also alert Granby that you are coming to ask him about the pure heart. What say you? This is a fair bargain? Sure, why not? I thank you. With this monster about my D-men and I are busy trying to contain the damage. I don't get why that door wasn't just there and, you know, just not locked. 
And make sure Lovey arrives safely in the care of Grams. I, I mean, Grammy. Hehe. <laughs> but avert thine eyes whilst we climb, lest thou succumbeth to my cuteness. Oh, please, he's not that superficial. Oh, me, a sharpened tongue, thou art jealous. Dost thou pine for yonder hairy twins? For whom dost thou pine the most? The red one, or perhaps the green? Yo, I'd go for Ouija. I would definitely go for Ouija. Thy cheek grows red, and thy manner flustered. A crush hot as a thousand suns burns deep within thy heart. Yeah, barely. Alas for thee, methinks. Anyway, move it on. So we now have Love Bee following us around as we have to take her to the over there. If nothing else, here's the end of the stage. Rather short stage, but keep in mind, <laughs> we went through it technically twice. End of chapter. I saw the prince, but nay, what I found were ancient men of hairy cheek. To the horror, yeah, and one that left my breath stricken in my throat. Luffy kept up this refrain as she traveled with our heroes. She seemed less than happy. Still, she did have a lot of energy. Pass in thy chubby legs. Time waits not for those who slack. Luigi, on the other hand, was elated that he and his brother were finally reunited. Peach and Bowser were still nowhere to be found. Were they safe? So thought our heroes as they made their way slowly to Underwear Road. Chapter 7-2. I almost said 4-2 for some reason. The Sealed Doors 3. I can just imagine that Mario being so tired from journeying so much, barely keeping up, and then Ouija's just running around him in circles like a dog, just so happy that he's back. At long last we find it. Herein lies the way out of the underwear. This is Underwear Road. So if you proceed over... Uh, so if we proceed ever upward, we'll eventually reach the over there? Yeah, verily. One would think that to be obvious. <sighs> My heart weepeth to return to the over there without meaning. Mine, one of true love. Whatever. Pray, speakest to me, Tippy. Believes thou in the idea of a soulmate? Hmm? Well, you know, I... I don't really... Hmm. I shall mark that as one vote for undecided. Or perhaps I should say unrequited in thy case. What are you... Ridiculous. I mean, I'm not... He <laughs> he. Sweet, Tippy. How simple it is to tweak thy chain. So... Now I must forge onward. Catches me if thou canst. That girl is a walking mood swing. I mean, she's entirely unstable, isn't she? Welcome to Underwear Road. First off, you just have a simple door. Oh, I wanted to talk to you. We have darkness now. Let's use a bomb to make light. Oh, I was hoping that could actually light the torches. But no. Hello there. Danka. Oh my bejeebus. Hey, you. Hand. Eat hand! Oh god, that does not work. Like I wanted it to. Alright, hand. You want to do that? Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Hey, hand. Hand. Come at me. Come on, hand. You want some of this, don't you? Yeah, you want some of this. You want some of this? Yeah! Oh, gee. Can they not die? In fact, we never bothered killing them because I've been too scared, but... Can they seriously not die? That seems pretty overpowered, if you ask me. Oh, Gibus. Yabby dabby do. Ah! You're dead now. Aw, oh, dang it, I didn't want to do this. Ah, oh, whatever. I suppose. Got a dark boo card. Oh, you're back. Cool. Now I can kill you. Where art thou, twin? Twin. Where art thou? Twin. Where 
art thou? There you are! You're dead! What be here? Another mushroom? <laughs> what the ba? That was okay, that wasn't a mistake. Jump this time. There we go, perfect. It's like I'm learning how to play this game. A door! It looks as though it's held closed by some mysterious force. Hmm. Examine! This door, it's no ordinary door. Halt! What's this then? Travelers have come. Now, Queen Chadies demands I guard this door, people. I'm Door Guy the First. Lots of monsters around, folks. Lots of monsters. So I've got to do routine checks, okay? Sorry for the trouble, folks, but I need to make sure you're trustworthy. Just a couple questions. Answer them all correctly and we're done here. Then you can head on through. Here's the first one. <clears throat> I'm warning you, though. These are pretty tough questions. Use these noggles. D-Man A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost seven coins a piece. Tomatoes cost ten coins a piece, okay? D-Man has... D-Man A has 50 coins when he goes into the store. He comes out with five coins. Those are the facts. Now, who is the most powerful person in the underwear? Queen Jadies? Queen DJs? Or Queen Deijis? Dingo! Correct. Next question. Shady B buys 667 pence for 13 coins each and buys 108 notebooks for 42 coins each. He needs more money, so he takes out 3,756 3, coins from the bank and spends it all. Those are the facts. Now, what is my name? Boar Guy the First, Boar Guy the First, Boar Guy the 64th. There's another 64 references. They're countless. Now for the last question. Panda A and Panda B, or Panda A and Bear B. Go to Apple Mountain for a day of apple picking, right? There are 120 apple trees on the mountain, and each has a 20 apple yield. A takes 10 seconds to pick each apple, while B takes seconds, or 2 seconds to pick each apple, or whatever. Those are the facts. Now, how many times did I just say the word apple? I was counting six. Correct. You folks seem okay to me. Head on through. Now, if you were baffled by those, and you didn't get them right, don't worry. You have many chances to. Like, he'll just keep going. Hello there, you guys. Oh, what do you want? Look, we'd love to chit chat, but we're crunched on busy over here, can't you tell? You simply must reach the over there, but we don't know which way it is. The over there, huh? See that door on your left? It'll light you up there. We can't open it right now. You gotta guard this door. You have to raise your beast from the underwear inside. Yep, this thing in here is definitely the one that escaped the prison. Can't have it breach in security, so we lock both doors just in case. This thing's a beast, let me tell you, real nasty. If it starts rampaging again, I don't want to be the D-man who has to stop it. Problem is, until someone subdues it, you can't use the door to the over there. So if you can tame it, we can open that door for you. Wanna give it a shot? Ha <laughs> ha! I was just messing with you, seriously. No one would ever be dumb enough to... Wait, did you just say yes? Are you nuts? You, you're serious. You actually think you can tame that beast? Well, hey, yeah, great idea. Sounds like a smart plan. Tell you what, you head on in and I'll mail your mustache to your next of kin. Look, my prediction, your game's about to end. Not will help you on your way. Give it a shot, champ. Yo, I got this, okay? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Where am I? And why do these jerks in shades keep jumping me? And what's with the dark? A peach isn't here and I'm hungry. What did I do to deserve this? I apologize if his voice is bad, because I'm... My throat's hurting. Hey, Mario and Chippy. Just you? Where's Peach? We don't know yet. We're looking for her, too. So what you're telling me is that she's definitely not here? I don't like this one bit. Ah, oh, I see your little plan. You want to break up what me and Peach have going. Yeah, you've been waiting for a chance to fireball me in the back. 
Uh, no, we truly don't know where Peach is. We merely... Can it, you ugly little bug? I'll stomp the truth out of you. Charge! So we're fighting Bowser yet again, except this time he does 8 damage. Quite a lot. Uh, we also do quite a lot of damage. Bejeebus. Oh boy. Bejeebus. Ah! He also has quite a bit of health, actually. Drat. Becoming smarter. Boozy. You're being smart. There we go. Thought for sure that'd do him in! Wait, you, you let me move. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Whatever, I needed to heal. Dang, why do I always lose? What is wrong with me? I get up every time, though. As many times as it takes to send you to the underwear. Bowser, I'm sorry to break this to you, but we're already there. What? What are you talking about? Do I look like a guy whose game is over? You and Mario were sent here, to the land of ended games, to the underwear. We didn't know what had happened to any of you, not just Peach. What? So wait, Peach really is lost out there somewhere? Why didn't you say so, idiot? We could have been searching this entire time. Bowser has rejoined the party. What are you waiting for? Let's move. Hey, it's you, and your game isn't over? Did you run away or something? What? You beat it? Seriously? No way! Man, I can't believe it. Well, uh, thanks. You're a prime go-getter, pal. This key will open the door that connects to the over there. Key to a door located in the underwear. Cool, cool, bro. <sighs> Sorry. Problem solved. What do you think outside the box here, people? I'll just stay on watch here. You two go find the rest of the monsters out there. We're on it. It's currently... I almost said it's currently 41% because that's what my laptop's on right now because I, I was thinking at the time to tell you guys why I was yawning. No, it's not a percentage of time. It's 11.14. Put a little flame to the torch scones on the, on the, you see on the walls. That'll light up the place for a while. Careful though, you'll eventually go out. You know someone who can use fire? Get them on torch duty. Stat. You have nothing to say about Bowser being right in your face. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna end things off here. I like how he just places it down like whoop. That's good enough for now. So with that, we have located the next heart pillar, prepared just a tiny bit, and we literally bought one item from Flim. And we made our way into World 7, which is the underwear, where we already were. We managed to get Bowser to rejoin our party, and we know what our objective is. We have to get Luffy up to the over there, and talk to Granby about where the next pure heart could possibly be. So next time on Super Paper Mario, we're going to do just that. See if we can make our way up there. See you guys then.